All right, so we've gotten started with Skype. We've got our account, we've downloaded the program, we've signed in. And now I'm gonna show you some of the basics of how to use it and how to call people. First thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to change your profile. You can do this a couple different ways. You can do it from the profile button up here, which is right up here. You can just go ahead and change your picture, your profile picture. You can add your phone numbers, your email addresses, some of your personal information so that people can find you and know exactly who you are. Another way to get there is if I go to Skype and then Profile and then Edit Your Profile. I also want to show you a little bit, kind of take you a little tour through some of the settings that you can have and set up in, within Skype and how to set up your audio and video. You're going to go to Tools and go down to Options. This is the first tab, it's the General tab. It uh, gives you some general settings about what you want to do whenever Skype starts. The audio settings, this is where you'll check your microphone and make sure you got your microphone set up correctly. Um, you can make a free test call from here, which will help you set things up. Uh, set up your speakers to the right level, things like that. Also down here in video settings, you can see me here. There I am in my house. I'm sure you can see some toys in the background. Uh, but here is where you check your webcam and make sure that you got your webcam set up correctly. And also who to receive video from, things like that. Also down here, if you look at some of these other spots, you can talk about notifications. What do you want to come up whenever someone comes online or goes offline? Do you want them to play a sound? Um, do you want them to give you an alerts? Which sounds do you want them to use? That kind of thing. So that's some of the general settings in here. And again, usually whenever you first start up Skype and that first welcome screen, there's a button there that helps you set up your audio and video. I definitely encourage you to do that. It'll walk you through a wizard to set up your audio and video right from there, right when you start. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit more about contacts here because now that you've got your audio and video set up, you need to have someone to call. What you're going to do to find your contacts, you can see I've got a list here, friends, family, etc., etc., my wife. To get them set up, what you're going to do is you're going to come up to contacts, and you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, you can add a contact or import your contacts. I'm not going to click on this because it takes a few seconds to get started, but you can import contacts straight from Facebook, Hotmail, um, email accounts, Microsoft accounts. Um, so you might want to give that a try. It's a really easy way to find your friends. If you already know their information, I'm going to click on add a contact. And what you're going to do is put in their email or their phone number or their full name or if you know their Skype name and click on add. It will find that person, and when you click on them, it will add them to your contact list. You don't need to have all this information. You can have just one piece, and it will try and find it for you. So that's how you get your contacts in here. You can also manage your contacts. You can create groups of people. So if you want to have a group of friends, group of coworkers, you can create groups and pull them into groups. And you can do some more things about hiding contacts and sorting them in here, too. All right, so you've got some contacts. So you're ready to start calling someone. So I'm not actually going to call my wife right now, but I just want to show you what it looks like. You're going to click on the person you want to call, and then all you do is hit video call. It will start your webcam up, and it will call them up and bring them right up. And you guys can start talking via webcam. This is also, I want to make sure while I'm here to, to show you, you can check your settings right here. This is another way to set up your microphone and your speaker. Make sure everything is working correctly. Here I am again. And that's just another way to check those settings to make sure your video call will go through properly. All right. Uh, the last thing I want to show you real quick is your status. Right here is where you can change your status. Right now I am online and available. You can set it to away. You can set it to do not disturb. You can make yourself invisible. Or you can make yourself appear like you're online or offline if you want to hide. Um, so there is your status. And you can also do that here. If I want to put a message up here, you know, doing great, uh, update my message now. Whenever people see me online, they'll see that under my message right there. All right. Uh, so that is it for the basics. In the next video, I'm going to show you some more of the advanced things you can do, sharing screens, adding files. Uh, things like that. So that's it for the basics. Mm -hmm.